Okay. Now let's compare the performance between real time switch and isolate switch. We still have the proxy node and the control node. The proxy node connects directly to the helicopter through the ADDA board. It senses the current position of the helicopter uh, and it sends this, these sense data into the real time network. On the other hand, it reads the control command from the real time network and controls the helicopter. The control node reads the current position information of the of the helicopter through the, uh, from the real-time network. It calculates the control command and then feeds the control command into the real-time network. The real-time network is a little bit more complex than the previous experiment. Now we have two switches, switch A and B serving as routers of the network and we also have node C and node D which generate interfering traffic, the jamming traffic into the switches. Node C jams um, switch A and node D will send interfering traffic, the jamming traffic into uh, switch B. Uh, first, let's look at the performance of the real-time switch. Switch A and B are now equipped with real-time switch hardware. Now let's start the programs. We first start the proxy application on the proxy node and then let's start the control program on the control node. The helicopter flies and uh, we can maneuver it using the user interface on the control node. Let it fly higher. Turn it 30 degrees clockwise. Move it back. Move it back to the reference position. Okay. Now let's turn on the jamming traffic. Turn on the jamming traffic. And we can see that the, the helicopter is not interfered because we are using a real-time switch. We can still do all kinds of maneuvering as before. And let it fly a little bit higher. Turn it 30 degrees. Move it back. And maneuvering is not interfered by the jamming traffic at all. Okay. Now let's try um, the isolip switches. First, stop the program, stop the jamming traffic. I will change the switch hardware into ice loop hardware. Pull out the real time switch hardware. And plug in the ice loop switch hardware. Turn them on. And, uh, okay. Now let's start the proxy program and start the control program. You can see that the helicopter can fly as good as uh, we're using the, as well as uh, we're using the real-time switches. But, you can do the, 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 the all kinds of maneuvering as before. However, if I turn on the jamming traffic, we'll see that the ice lip is not immune to the interference. Let's turn on the jamming traffic. We see that the helicopter uh, loses control immediately because of the jamming. Alright, that's it.